back, everybody. Do you remember when we talked about God making the whole world? And we live right here in this yellow country. And way over here was where the Garden of Eden was. Mr. David, where was the Garden of Eden? Do you remember? In Iraq. Between two rivers. Which two rivers? Or Tigris and the Euphrates, maybe? Yes. <laughs> right here is where the Garden of Eden was. Between all those little blue rivers. Do you see those that flow around? The Tigris and the Euphrates? And that's where our story started with the Garden of Eden. First, God made the world. He made everything. And then we talked about the garden. And I brought a bunch of fun things to show you. Let's just make the garden, if you don't mind. So I imagine that there were some rocks in there. We know that there were trees. God gave them lots of good food to eat from. And all of the animals and trees and bushes, he made everything nice. Do you remember what happened? Why they're not in the garden anymore? Can anybody remember what happened that they're not in that special garden that God placed Adam in? Do you remember he ate the fruit and Eve ate the fruit that they weren't supposed to? They disobeyed. Oh, I like that one too. So that special garden that God made them, they had to leave because of that tricky, tricky snake. That snake was as sly as a fox, Mr. David said. And then more and more people were born and the people got worse and worse. They were bad people. There was only one good man left and his name was Noah. And God said, Noah, I want you to build a boat. And Noah had never even seen a boat before, but God told him all the directions, take your little hammer and go hammer, hammer, and build a great big boat. You're going to need that. So Noah's wife and Noah would have a place to stay. They didn't know exactly what it was going to be about, but they started building and they built a boat that looked about like this. We know it had a little window in it and we know that God gave him the directions to build it out of gopher wood. And the funny thing was, God told Noah he had to put two of every animal on the ark. Do you know what this animal is? That's my favorite animal. Is that a little monkey? That would be so much fun to gather up all of the animals. And God even said, get birds. You even need seven of those maybe, so you'll have some left over to sacrifice. And so Noah put all of those animals on the boat. Does anybody know what this one is? Mr. David, do you know what that is? Hippopotamus. That's a hippo. So Noah worked hard, even when people laughed at him. They said, why do you need a boat? He just kept building. He took his hammer and he went, hammer, hammer. Good old Noah built a boat. Do you remember that song? With a hammer, hammer here, and a hammer, hammer there. Here a hammer, there a hammer everywhere. A hammer, hammer, good old Noah built the book like God told him to. And he kept going until he had something that looked just about like this. Isn't that a funny boxy boat? Nobody's ever ridden in a boat like this with a bunch of animals, but you might have ridden in a speedboat or a sailboat. I know my brother has a boat. We used to go up and down on the ocean, up and down on the lake. Let's see if we can make this boat float. You wanna see it rain on the ark? And they must have heard the rain coming down, but all inside there were the animals and Noah. Noah got to keep his wife and his three sons, Shem, Him, and Japheth, and their wives were all saved, but nobody else was because all the people were so bad back then. They were mean people, killed each other and did horrible things. But Noah was a good man, so God saved him. Okay, it rained and rained for 40 nights and 40 days and it covered up the whole earth. The water was covering up everything except for the very tip top tallest mountains. And about that time, they had to sit inside waiting on the, land, oh, the water to go all the way back down. 
until that there was some leaves that said there was some dry ground to come out on. And Noah sent out a raven, but the raven just circled and didn't come back. He sent out the dove. You want to see what the dove brought back? You see the dove has a little leaf in its mouth, an olive branch. Yay. He must have seen some dry ground. Did you see dry ground, little dove? <laughs> Good. That means that all of Noah and the animals could come out of the ark. Finally, after 40 days and 40 nights of rain and a lot more days staying in that old stinky boat, up and down and up and down with all of the animals mooing and meowing and barking. So finally, Noah got to come out. Thank goodness for that dove with the olive branch. And the first thing that Noah did, he built an altar. Have you ever seen an altar before? Mr. David made an altar out of marshmallows. And at the very top of Mr. David's marshmallows, he's going to put some pretzels that look like wood. And you can do that at home too if you want to. Our marshmallows are really sticky, so they stuck together. Um, but Noah, on top of his altar, he put meat. He put birds and animals, and he burned them up as a sacrifice to God and made God so happy. that he gave Noah a symbol in the sky, a rainbow, a token that makes God know he'll never make a big flood like that again to ever, ever come again to destroy the whole earth. He made a promise to Noah and he gave a symbol. So anytime you see a rainbow between the clouds, after the rain, when you look up at the sky, you can know that was God's symbol to Noah too. I love rainbows. Do you, have you ever drawn a rainbow? We're going to show Hunter painting a rainbow a little bit later. Can you see this little bird, the dove, the little white bird that flew around and finally found a little green olive branch leaf that meant there was a tree with leaves on it and it was going to be time to leave the ark. We're so happy. Noah was so thrilled and excited and I bet his sons were too and especially their wives. I bet they were glad to get off that boat. <laughs> with their mother-in-law for that long. <laughs> we found these Noah's Ark crafts at Hobby Lobby or Mardell. You can find them either place. And for $5.99, it makes six of these. Mr. David and I are going to make one and show you how to do it. And if you get them, I'd love to see a picture of yours. Or if you make a rainbow, I would surely like to see your rainbow picture. So send it to me. Thank you. In the flood back then It's a promise It will never be that way again Rainbow 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 Hey fellas, I sort of like that harmony In fact, I think I'd like to hear it again myself, okay? Okay, Charlie, Huey, and Stanley, and yours truly. Here we go now. Rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green Blue and purple too I can sing a rainbow Sing a rainbow Sing a rainbow with you Look 
with your eyes, listen with your ears, and sing everything you see. You can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Oh, red and orange and yellow and green, blue and purple too. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing. A Rainbow with you. Look with your eyes, listen with your ears, and sing everything you see. Well, you can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Red and orange. And yellow and green, blue and purple too. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow with you. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow. To play Don't Rock the Boat. It's a balancing arc, and if you put an animal too many on one side, it'll tip over, and the person, who, the person who tips it over loses Hunter, okay? Yep. All right, so who's going first? You go, Hunter, you go first. Okay. Um, gorilla. On top. I got the koala. Cute little koala. What do you have? Koala. That's smart. I got the zebra. Giraffe. Oh no. That's I got smart. The panda. Pandemic. Whoa! Dada lost. Pandemic. <laughs> Okay. Hold that up. What is this? Is alligator? this a crocodile or an alligator? Uh, I don't know. Do you know how you tell the difference? No. One you see later and one you see after a while. Oh. <laughs> hey, I don't know. If these will balance, I can put them on the zebra's backs. <laughs> Done. <laughs> We're going into the art. 